Hi there, welcome back to Summerlicious. This is Summerlicious third video. And we are, tonight we are going to be making a green chili stuffed spaghetti squash for dinner. And I have three of my granddaughters here with me. We got Nina, Hi. Layla, and Emma to help me. And I am, of course. And so Emma. here is a picture of what we are going to be making tonight. Each person will have their own individual um, spaghetti squash boat. And to start out, we are going to take our spaghetti squash that we already have cut in half, thanks to Grandpa. Another tip here with this is to put them in the oven or the microwave for a little bit to soften them up before you try and cut them because they are extremely hard to cut and you don't want to cut yourself or ruin your countertop. So right now the girls are each going to take two and scrape out all the seeds. So as you can see, we're just... The guts actually um, smell pretty good. Emma. Don't say that. Make we sure have three done. Okay. We have three done. And three more to go. Okay, so now we have um, all of the squashes... But um, cut, in, in season. cut in half, scraped out all the, the seeds, and then we yeah. put oil on it. I use avocado oil only at this house, and we salt Seasoning. and pepper them. So this is what it looks like. And now it'll go in the oven at 400 degrees, upside down. So we're going to flip these over, and then um, put them in the oven, and uh, let them bake. Welcome back, and I am mixing the sauce right now. So, can you tell them what's in it? Sauce is enchilada sauce, green chilies right now, and cilantro. And the update on the proteins the chicken is still on the pot, it's getting cooked. The tofu is still pressing, and the squashes are in the onion oven. In the onion. <laughs> in the onion. Right in there. Okay. So then I just need the rest of it. So this is what the sauce looks like. Emma, can you show them this? I already cut off the handle. So this is what the sauce looks like. It actually looks very nice, very creamy, and it's it kind of liquid. Amazing. Here are the um, She, our grandma, usually has a, a, has like something that she can put put the tofu on, like a I don't know I don't know what to call it. So it can like drain, but we don't have so we squash. don't have that on we don't have that on on um our 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 house. So we just use like a, a towel um a towel and a pan and like a yeah towel yeah, pan and paper towel. The one in the microwave is almost done, so I'm yes. Yeah, As you can see, I'm still mixing the sauce. Okay. Sh uh, so the squash in the microwave is almost done, and update on the chicken, it is now boiling. Yep, to be shredded by my son Jim. He does that when he makes his buffalo chicken dip, and um, he boils it, and I never saw that done before with a chicken breast. I always thought I had to cook it in Our a Uncle cooker. Jim. So, yes, their Uncle Jimmy is the one that told me how to do that. So Shout out when to I him. need chicken, shredded chicken he fast, have an account. I use his method. Churro is done. It's all cut okay, up. Okay, and we need it. Uh, oh, just for people who actually want to know the recipe at home, the recipe will be at the end, right, Grandma? Yeah. It will tell all, like, like, all the exact measurements, how to cook everything. This is just like us kind of vlogging mm -hmm. how will you make it and everything like that. So a half cup of green onions. Or just three green onions. Or yeah, or just three. Because we're actually tripling the recipe because there's actually six of us going to be attending dinner tonight. Yes. Us four and then the two men. <laughs> <laughs> Which includes your grandpa and, and did dad. you say this is the green chilies we use? Oh, yes. I've used this for years. It's called 505 Western Hatch Valley Flame Roasted Green Chilies. And they are delicious. So, um, um, Emma, why, why don't you show them how the sauce is going? So, that is an update on the sauce. It looks perfect. You want that did you sauce show them the sauce is amazing. I'm so excited. After dinner, we're going swimming. 
the two chicken breasts are just in water with some salt and they were frozen when I put them in there. And as you can see, I've already been able to stick my fork in it and I'll continue cooking them until I can get them shredded. So this is what this chicken is looking like now. Um, it's actually looking very nice. So yeah, this is what the sauce looks like on the whisk. What I learned from my grandma is that when you're whisking something, uh, or like you need a bowl, you're gonna buy a bowl, always buy a bowl that has this type of handle. So when you're whisking something or mixing something together, you can hold it, tilt it the tiniest bit, and just whisk it. So it's all combined. The sauce is looking great. And uh, for anyone who is new to Summer Licious or is an old fan who watched her videos from at least a year and a half ago or a year ago, um, those were her first starting episodes. This is her third episode going into 2021 and she'll be making many more videos this summer and throughout the year because during the summer it's mostly going to be us in the videos and then during the rest of the year it's going to be um, our cousin Lakin from the last two videos, just to tell you guys that. Squeeze me, let me through here. So right now we're going to be draining some oh. sweet corn oil, right? Yep. Kiss you from your head to your toeses, I like your soul. Okay, so to recap everything we're doing right now, we have our enchilada sauce all done with the chilies and the onions. The and then we drain some sweet corn, we have our tofu pressing, and then we have our a pot boiling. of boiling chicken. And our squash cooking. And our squash cooking in the oven because our first squash is done because it's in the microwave. And yes, you can cook uh, a squash in the microwave. And actually, their Aunt Kristen, who is Jimmy's other half, told me about cook cooking it in the microwave. Even a mom, grandma, learns new things from her children. And so when it comes to tofu, I always cut it down through the middle. It has a little cilantro, it doesn't matter because it's all gonna be in the same, in the same. organ. And I cut it extremely thin because the okay. thinner you, Faster. well, it makes it firmer. Oh yeah, you're right. The bigger they are, the more, eh, you know, a lot of people have trouble with tofu, but it, the smaller you cut the pieces before you start cooking them, the firmer they'll become, and they are a meat substitute. So mm -hmm. you want it to be something that's tasty. Which I can eat. And vegans, vegetarians, they can all eat this. And basically, it's just really for plant people that want to eat plants, plant-based food. Which is very yummy. Instead of, instead of meat, and it's... You know, not saying meat's bad for someone or whatever, but it's just good for certain people's bodies. Yes. As opposed to other things, so. And if you've never tried tofu, I just want to let you know, it is it is a chicken substitute, or at least I think it is. It, it tastes like chicken, and um, you can cut it however you want. And disclaimer, if you do not season it, or like it's gonna taste weird. It's, it doesn't taste like chicken. And if you or don't, any meat. Like keep it like and the more it oil properly. if you're gonna fry it up, the more oil you put in the pan, the crispier it will get and the better tasting. Yes. Uh, what I was what I was also gonna say about tofu is that um if you never tried it before, it's really good and I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying that if you if you can, you should probably you should um give it a shot. I suggest you, you, should, give it a try. you should buy some. Um it's it's literally like the cheapest thing you could buy as a meat from the Everything is made out of beans. So right now we're getting pretty far into the recipe. Um, we have, just added some corn yes. to the sauce. The sauce is here. Yes. Sauce is complete. Yes. Grandma. <laughs> yes. Sauce is yep. complete. We have um, our proteins getting ready to be That's finished. Correct. And then we have um, some like side stuff over here. And while you're one thing that I like to do when I am making something, that as I am cooking, that cooking, baking, whatever, once I use whatever I need to use, then I start cleaning up. Either it gets put back away, uh, like the green chilies are already in, back in the refrigerator yes. because that's how you keep an organized kitchen. And as you're working on a recipe, I live in a very small home, so it's very tight. Yeah. So we wanna make sure we always 
put away our stuff, like what's in the sink already, can be going into the dishwasher. One of us is going to be dividing the sauce into two different bowls because we're going to be having a tofu protein and a chicken protein. Fine, it'll work. Okay, so what, have you done this before? Spaghetti squash? So with one fork, you're going to hold it. See how nice that is? That is a good cooked spaghetti squash. Okay. And then you go like this and put it in there. Just be okay. careful not to hurt yourself, burn yourself because that can be very hot. Here's our squash, all shredded. Okay, seeing we're waiting, we're still waiting for the chicken to finish up. It's almost done so that we can shred that. We already have the tofu done and completed inside its bowl. That will make three of the boats. Um, now I am going to cut up three avocados to make um, some guacamole. And I'll be singing Holy Mother of Moses I just want to buy you roses Toes I like your soul, baby. You got that heart and made of gold, baby. I'm gonna love you till I'm old, baby. I just want to give it a cheesy flavor. And because stop. the vegan ones will not have cheese on top of them. So, whenever you're stirring with powder, Wait, you have to um, mix well. I usually, that's a can of green chilies and tomatoes for my guacamole. Here, okay. This will be the tofu one. These will be chicken. Okay. Shall we? Let me test it. I know. Shut up. Very good. Oh my gosh. So, right, what are we doing now, Grandma? We are getting the shredded chicken Into inside. The so we got some vegan alternative yogurt, coconut oil. Yeah, it's yogurt. It's yogurt. Oh. Non-dairy though. Is that good enough? Oh, you got some more to squeak out of there. But yeah. Okay, so right now we're just chopping up some flour tortillas. Okay. Just super, it's a, not so big, it's a small piece like this so that we can fry them and in them our chips and make some tortilla chips homemade which is much better than store lot because then they're better for you 10 minutes on it i think it's only about eight but what we have out right now is the cilantro cilantro, cilantro. And these little spoons for all of that yeah green onions and chalada sauce and next is the guacamole. Oh. Nina made it. <laughs> and that's all the sides like we have like to dip and top and everything like that. And then the squash, I recommend putting it in like close to the time you're gonna serve, right? Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, and then I just so crispy. You know what salt are we adding? Yeah. Popcorn salt. You're finishing them off with broil once you get the cheese on. Ooh, I look out really nice and toasty. Oh, that's that's it. Do they look fantastic? The boat looks Are fantastic. Are you ready to eat? Guacamole, the salsa. Yay! Yeah, woo! Show them the extras. Chips, show them the, the extras. Chips. It's so good. Try to show them the extras. The extras. So extra and salsa. Extra. Sauce, salsa, guacamole, chips, cilantro. Go. And okay, I thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I thank my three beautiful granddaughters. Hopefully next time we'll have Lakin with us and um, we'll make something again fantastic. So catch us on uh, Summerlicious again. And again, peace out. And thanks for watching Summerlicious.